So I have right here a Zerizen desktop. And what makes this desktop special? Someone's gonna point out and mash into keyboards. I can build it myself. It's just standard parts, blah, 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 go away. Uh, leave your comment and you don't need to watch this video if you're in, if that's what your plan is. It's not, not for you. You're not the right audience, we get it. But let's talk about this Zerizen desktop and why it's here. So Zerizen sent this, well, specifically to Jay, but also uh, to here, because we use the same studio to do a review on. I don't know if Jay's video is out yet, but I'll link to his channel where he'll have a, re a more in-depth review of this. But we've been playing with it and we definitely really like it. Now, let's talk about who is Zerizen and why am I even talking about him? Uh, Zerizen is a customs integrator who's actually been around for quite a while. Their niche, their specialty, is building custom systems that just work with Linux. Matter of fact, this is a gaming Linux server, which of course is uh, great to watch, but they do servers as well. They do other different systems, including laptops, and it's not just like one or two distro choices. Actually, this is a cool thing about Zerizen is they have a list of distros that they can preload on there. So for people that want to get into Linux but don't want to spend the time sorting out any compatibility issues with hardware or trying to figure out what co combination of parts work well, Zerizen takes care of that for you. And it's a nice, simple system. Uh, they are using a standard, this is an NZXT H200 desktop. They do have some cool RGBs in there. It's not too flashy, but just enough because you have a little bit of RGB. I do like the glass side on this mini ITX board. I don't have, I can't see the model, and I didn't want to take it apart. But I know it's an AS Rock board. But those details aren't super relevant because if you're going to hunt down and build it all yourself, then you're going to go around hunting for the best deal. Versus when you buy it for Zerizen, you're going to get a really reasonably priced computer, reasonably priced for assembled, delivered to you with a warranty, and with the Linux distro of your choice that you know is going to work and you don't have to spend time in forums sorting out uh, compatibility problems. Now the system right here as spec is an i7-9700K, eight core at 3.6 gigahertz, has an RTX 2080, 16 gigs of DDR4, Samsung Evo 970, 250 gig NVMe in it. And uh, well, there's not a whole lot else to talk about. It does run. Uh, Jay tried a couple different uh, distros on it. I've wiped it and reloaded it with Pop! OS and loaded Steam because well, it's got a, a RTX 2080, so we want to test the gaming performance. But before I make a, a fool of myself trying to play a game, I played Doom on the last one uh, when I did the review of the System76 uh, laptop. So I'm going to have Steve come over here and play Monster Hunter, which, by the way, is a good test because I wanted to note this thing is on now and we're going to show the ambient noise while playing Monster Hunter because it actually stresses it. And Steve will share a little bit of his thoughts as someone who plays games exclusively on Windows of what he thinks on playing games on Linux, which I think is kind of a good side note to this because I just don't play enough games to have any real opinion uh, on it. So uh, let's uh, launch Monster Hunter here. All right, so the game launches fast, uh, but it's running on a Samsung Evo 970. We That's kind of like an as expected as far as a fast launch here. Uh, but the graphics and everything, the frame rate, do you have the frame rate in the corner? Oh, you do. Awesome. Yeah. And I have the, I checked, the settings are at max. Yeah, everything is at max on this game. And I played a few games on it. Uh, what I found as far as gaming in Linux, Anything running in Proton seems to actually run amazing. The stuff with native Linux support runs kind of rough. I tried Arc and I uh, forget what else I tried and they felt really like like laggy, like there were just frame drops in that. Right. Uh, when I moved to games like Doom and Monster Hunter that launched with Proton, it renders at you know over 60 frames a second really smooth. And Please note, well, the way we tested this, and this is an important aspect, Steve's not a Linux expert here. Steve's one of my network engineers who likes to play games. And he's not not being someone who ever plays game on Linux. This is completely out of the box, pop OS, loaded Steam, and clicked go. You didn't customize anything. No, nothing That's, customized. Right. I installed Steam and went. Yeah, we're doing this from a concept of a Linux gaming noob, and that actually qualifies Steve, because he loves to play games, but they're all on Windows. <laughs> so... Um, turning all the, you know, ramping everything up to max on this, uh, but no special load, just clicked, ran the Steam installer, loaded the games that he wanted to play, and tested them out. So we're going to cut right here so we can wait for the game to get started. Yeah, this is always the delay. <laughs> oh, wait, I could go. That was my bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so Steve's got the game going, and uh, the, we've given a couple minutes of playtime because I wanted to 
make sure you could hear any ambient noise. Uh, we don't have any sound, of course, from the video here, but we are, this is all not liquid cooled. And actually Linus Tech Tips did an informative video uh, about air cooled versus liquid cooled. And that some of these, if you have a good air cooler, some of them are really not that loud. And you know, right here is a system that we're running. It's warm to the touch, you know, it's at probably the full temp. All the fans are definitely spinning in it. I heard it ramp up. Yeah, we heard it ramp up. Steve can feel the warm breeze because it's <laughs> venting behind him over here. Uh, but you can see the game runs just butter smooth, no stuttering, no problems. And of course, this is gaming in Linux, which is, you know, exciting to me. Even though I'm not a big gamer, I just think it's cool that uh, I can at some point, because I do, I will admit, you know, my kids play games at home. We have a gaming computer I occasionally play on, but it does run Windows. That's my one Windows computer that's in my life. Uh, <laughs> I don't do anything work related on it. I do occasionally play a couple games, but I'm not a big gamer, which is why I, I, I tried playing this. And I'm like, okay, this is bad. Steve, come here. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to share our thoughts on this one. This Raisin desktop is nice. Uh, you can essentially, the point of this is you can buy it a computer, have it preloaded, Pop OS or Ubuntu, whichever you prefer. Like I said, we loaded Pop on here ourselves, but you can have uh, the folks at Serasin load whatever the Linux distro you want. Get on there, load Steam onto it, and uh, start playing. Like there's nothing else you have to do. Of course, there's still more fine tuning in Linux that can be done. There's probably tweaks to some of the games that would have made them a little bit faster and you know, things like that. But for the most part, there's quite a few titles, especially you can look up what supports Proton. Uh, any of the Proton games we tried, we tried just work butter smooth, just like this. Yeah. Uh, this one running on Proton was great. We, you know, we did Doom on the System76 laptop, which was also amazing. Cause that was a 144 Hertz uh, monitor. Yeah. So, and if you wonder why we're looking up a little bit, it's because the monitor we're playing the game on, of course, is behind the camera, so. <laughs> uh, but my review's very positive. We've been pl actually playing with this for, since last week, Jay played for a while, and we uh, we had an in room just playing games on it. I said, just play for a while. You know, it's it's rough working here sometimes, but uh, so you, you gotta <laughs> relax and uh, play some video games for a while, and a couple of guys took turns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Eric left Monster Hunter on it. <laughs> yeah, we left it running, what, all night? Yeah, I went yeah. home to play and it complained. Yeah, because it was already open here at the shop. He left it running all night. So, <laughs> But the, the game, the performance, the cleanness, the cable uh, management, everything about this, you know, I think they could probably put a couple more RGBs in there, but you could probably get a special request. I didn't look uh, fully to see if there's some options, but I'm sure they would uh, comply with that or, you know, get your own RGBs and decorate it yourself. But a uh, nice system, reasonably built. You can... Uh, go ahead and jump on their website and order them. They're available. And uh, at some point I may, because there's a reason, is now a Michigan-based company. And they're only about, I think, about an hour. Really? Yeah. That's uh, awesome. See, he didn't know either. Uh, we make, make a road trip out there. Uh, it's like, I think, about an hour drive from our office here. Because uh, they put together, and they don't have any photos that I've seen yet, but I've seen on their About page, they put together a retail store uh, where they're going to have some of their systems on display. And I thought it'd be kind of cool. And maybe it'd be a fun YouTube video to go make a trip to their uh, facility where they assemble and put these systems together talk about how they do the testing uh so if you're listening is reason hi hi uh, <laughs> <laughs> love it yeah and uh we'll go from there so that's about it for this video i don't have a whole lot of leave link to their page they have a nice ordering system where you can pick you know, and pick out all the details for the systems you want on there. Uh, this specifically is their Virtuous line. And like I said, it's as spec'd out with the uh, i7 eight core RTX 2080 16 gig and the 970, as I said in the beginning. Uh, but overall impressions, we're really happy with it. It plays games, as you can see, quite well and running in Linux. Yay. Yeah. All right, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and maybe YouTube will send you a notice when we post. If you want to hire us for a project that you've seen or discussed in this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com where we offer both uh, business IT services and consulting services and are excited to help you with whatever project you want to throw at us. Also, if you want to carry on the discussion further, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can keep the conversation going. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, we offer affiliate links below, which offer discounts for you and a small cut for us that does help fund this channel. And once again, thanks again for watching this video and see you on next time.